On September 22, the Catholic Church remembers St. Thomas of Villanova, a 16th-century Spanish Augustinian monk and archbishop, who lived a life of austerity in order to provide for the spiritual and material needs of his people. Tomás García E. Martínez was born in 1488 in the Spanish region of Castile, in the town of Villanova de los Infantes. He was raised to take after the faith and charitable works of his parents Alphonsus and Lucia who regularly distributed food and provisions to the poor. He grew up and was educated in Villanueva de los Infantes in the province of Ciudad Real Spain. In spite of his family's wealth, as a young boy, Thomas often went about naked because he had given his clothing to the poor. At 16, Thomas entered the University of Alcalá de Henares to study arts and theology. Within 10 years, he became a professor teaching arts, logic, and philosophy for two years before being offered a more prestigious position at the University of Salamanca. Thomas, however, chose not to continue his academic career. After his father's death, he had determined to leave much of his inheritance to the poor and sick rather than retaining it himself. In 1516, Thomas embraced a life of chastity, poverty, and religious obedience with his entry into the monastic order of St. Augustine in Salamanca. In 1518, he was ordained a priest. Thomas became renowned for his eloquent and effective preaching in the churches of Salamanca. He composed beautiful sermons, among which stands out the Sermon on the Love of God, one of the great examples of sacred oratory of the 16th century. This led to his appointment as a court preacher and advisor to the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. He also had a great devotion to the Virgin Mary, whose heart he compared to the burning bush of Moses that is never consumed. Within the order, he successively held the positions of prior of his local monastery, visitor general, and prior provincial for Andalusia and Castile. In 1533, Thomas oversaw the expansion of the Order of St. Augustine across the sea to Mexico. Charles V offered him the post of Archbishop of Granada, but he would not accept it. However, in August 1544, he was ordered by his religious superiors to accept his appointment as the Archbishop of Valencia. Thomas arrived wearing the same well-worn monastic habit that he had worn for several years and would continue wearing for years to come. Given a donation to decorate his residence, he funneled the money to a hospital in need of repair. He visited every parish in the archdiocese to discover what the needs of the people were. Thomas put in order an archdiocese that for a century had not had a direct pastoral government. He organized a special college for Moorish converts and laid plans for social assistance, welfare, and charity. In 1547, he ordained Luis Beltran as a priest, a noted missionary in South America. In order to have a well-formed clergy, Thomas started the Presentation Seminary in 1550. He established schools where the young would have access to a quality education. He turned his own home into a sort of soup kitchen and shelter, giving the poor and the homeless food to eat and a place to sleep. For that reason, he was known as Beggar Bishop and Father of the Poor. Thomas became ill sometime in 1551. As his illness progressed and he grew weaker, he gave away all of his remaining possessions. After 11 years leading the Archdiocese of Valencia, Archbishop Thomas of Villanova succumbed to a heart condition at the end of a mass held in his home on September 8, 1555. On October 7, 1618, Thomas was beatified by Pope Paul V. He was canonized by Pope Alexander VII on November 1, 1658. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.